Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. The future is for those who believe in their dreams. If you stop believing in your dreams, then that's the end of your story. It's good to dream because this will inspire us to do a lot more. Today's video, allow me to share with you this development. Actually, we already have established again. We rebuilt back the dikes and we are about to finish this for this week. And then we're gonna be using this for our catfish and for our Japanese koi and goldfish. So we have to put the net because this area here is really filled with native fish. There's tilapia and snakeheads and they are carnivorous. And there are also some birds that they would eat our fingerlings of this Japanese koi. But we have already the plan on how to address this one. We will use the net and we will trap our babies. So for this week, we're gonna be doing a busy work. We have to finish this up. We will get all this, you know, bushes right here. And I'd like to share with you how to make a dike. You cannot build a dike with pure mud. We have to use the grasses and then the mud and grasses in such a way that we can elevate fast our dikes. If we're gonna complete this one, we will put in some new water we have the source of water supply and maybe we can use the submersible pump. We can pump out the water over there or over here inside our tank. There's no problem about investing your money in rabbitry without spending a lot of money. Of course, you have to spend the housing, the cages, but on the daily basis, you don't need to spend your money so much because you can outsource food like this one, this cover crop. This cover crop is one of the best food for our rabbits. If you will ask how to plant this one, of course, you will just get the stem and then, you know, plant this on soil and they will creep like this one even if you have thousands of rabbits with this uh, vast of supply of food you will not worry about because this can supply thousands of rabbits and even if you will get on the daily basis this amount it will not affect this source so you will see that here we have so many you see that and I'm doing this every morning and they are creeping actually that's why I have to trim this one because they're already covering the road so now we will go to our rabbits and we will feed them these rabbits are groomed to become parent stocks and they are mixed in one cage for this age of rabbits we can mix them together but time will come that they have to be individually put in the cage because they will start chasing and they will start breeding and that would you know damage the female rabbit when they reach three to four months that's the time that we're gonna put them in their individual cages if we are breeding them inside a cage and like before that we have adapted a free range rabbit system where we just allow rabbits to roam around and they will be allowed to dig in and they will get inside and they will bury their babies and then that's it it's a simple method but this one is another kind of system that's also very effective well we cannot do the free range rabbit system here because it's full of water so we will just put them in cages and in the future we can make rabbit house over the pond and that's a good and very excellent you know view that you, you can watch on the channel and even you can come here and you know witness this personally and one thing that i would like to reveal to you this morning is about this grass this is called cover crop and this is the best food for our rabbits and you will see that they are eating and there's no issue about health they are not 
you know, getting diarrhea and their health is just perfect. Well, I can see a lot of native fish that are thriving in this place and I tried to feed them and they're actually eating this. Please do make some suggestions because I want to convert this pond into the pond of the catfish and even this Japanese koi. But I might as well consider the native fish that are already here because they are also delicious, they are edible. And if you can see over there, they have so many babies. They have so many babies that are thriving. And you don't bother about breeding them because they will just breed naturally, very naturally. And they will thrive in this habitat. So please do make some suggestions what we're gonna do. We will go for the native fish or we will do for the catfish farming. I'm beginning to like the native fish and I'm quite inclined to also respect this native uh, species here in this pond and also you will see that there are so many birds eating the fish so if we will get all this fish and we will put another species I think that would be unfair for this fish which are the food also of the birds and as you can hear, there are many birds that are thriving here. They are getting their food in this particular area. And also, please allow me to make an update about the Asola. The Asola are thriving. They're green. If you will put the Asola and they will not survive, then their color will turn dark brown. They will die. But in this case, they're turning green that I am so hopeful that we can also produce massive of this asola. And this is the natural food for our fish. And the fish will also become the food of the birds. And this is the balance ecology that I am thinking about. And we can invite people to observe and, you know, come here and be happy that there's still this kind of nature that we're gonna preserve. So guys, you have witnessed how we developed this farm and slowly we are going to convert this into a beautiful aviary, beautiful farm of goats and you know fish and even the chickens. And that's my dream. That's why I said success is for those people who still believe in their dreams. If you will stop dreaming, then that's the end of the story. But if you will continue dreaming, dreaming about life, dreaming about how to become successful, then you will be inspired to wake up early in the morning and do things in order to achieve your goals. And this is my encouragement to every one of us. I hope guys you are encouraged with this video and if you are not subscribed to the channel, may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos regularly and these videos are informative, very educational and exciting videos. Only here at Dexter's World. See you in my next video.